There's something very mysterious going on with the sky, with everything, the planets, the sun, the moon. We're seeing all these shifts in the sky. They're literally shifting place. Today, right now, I'm watching the sun set at 12 o'clock. It's not up in the sky. It never got over the houses, and it seems that it's just not going to make it over the houses today. This sun is sitting right on over top of the neighbor's roof just to say I was able to get it. And aside from that, very recently, like in the last video that got no views, you could see that my camera itself is showing me that there's something wrong with the sky <laughs> by bringing the exposure down, seeing the colors on the moon, whether they are the true colors or not. There's definitely going to be a change in the lighting around Earth, seen through cameras especially. Cameras always see things before our eyes do. This is today's sun, December 19th, 2022, and the sun is going down. It's going down at an early time, never rose over the houses. What does that mean? Well, it's actually setting at the same regular time, considering the days are getting longer, but right now it's already setting in the middle of the afternoon, the early afternoon, before noon, and it's going downwards at a very, very slow pace, like four times, three, four times it usually goes down, but still arriving at the same point. There's something wrong about that. So it did not rise in the sky. It's been several days, actually close to maybe a week. It's sort of scary. And this is the truth. It's just literally changing its trajectory in the sky, that elliptical line that it has always followed, that we've always seen it follow, is changing. So is the moon. So the moon, they say, is locked with us. I'll tell you what, one side is locked with us, but the moon isn't locked at all. It's traveling all over the sky. And if it's not the moon that's moving, we would be shifting. But then again, if we're shifting, the moon would be following, and it's not. 2.45 in the afternoon, the sun starts pushing to rise. Thought it was going down. Now setting again in the south. So there is definitely a change in the rising and setting of that sun as compared to all of my life, that's for sure. Do you guys and gals have any idea how dangerous the sun is right now and how dangerous seeing those spots lined up side by side? If that was to touch each other and become one, one spot in that top left there, it would be twice as big probably as the Carrington event. Luckily, it's not exactly facing Earth. The other ones are facing Earth. So this is the sun today filmed on December 19th, 2022. I, for one, love viewing the sun like this. I'm surprised there's not more views on the sun videos. Well, obviously, they're suppressing the channel. And it's not everybody's thing, but when you understand how dangerous the sun is right now and what I'm showing you how dangerous it is and what's occurring, it gets interesting. I have the intuition that the sun is about to explode. And listen, I ain't imitating any scientists. They say that the sun's dying. I really don't think it is. I think we're about to see it give out one hell of a blast and then maybe it will be quiet till uh, from now to 2025 but yeah, i doubt it so that's the end of today's sun filmed on december 19th 2022 very worried about our sun so let's look back to the sunspot 2994 this is way back and we're looking at is it 6429 so we're in the 2900s of flares when i started filming it and you could see over to the left there the flares that were seeing that I'm showing each sun um, each sun video are all different flares. They're never the same flares. The flares can reoccur. But sometimes they're not always on Earth's side. There's 2994. That's the proper number. 
I just checked it out and you can see that one there let go one hell of a flare. So today it's very active on the sun, but they're all different. And you can see that one there with what I just showed you on the edge looks very similar, but they're not similar in any way. You can see over 60 or 70 sunspots in the ensemble right here. So the sun is fusioning. They just were able, a couple of days ago, they were able to create a fusion that maintained itself and that the energy grew. Inserting a tu inside of a tube, okay, enough energy and a big enough amount of energy and density for it to maintain itself inside the tube and get stronger so that's what they say they created successfully the fusion that created an energy that was stronger than the charge that sparked it if you can understand that uh here's a really nice shot back in march you know i got some really incredible sunspots um they were really bad at one point throughout the, the entire summer and even during the winter and i've only started uh filming the sun well, when i don't remember when anymore 21 i guess I'm starting to forget the sunspot 2975 to give you an idea that was back in march 29 and well real quickly here you go these are the sunspots you can look them up some of these sunspots let go some really big flares and surprisingly throughout the year some flares came from some very small sunspots Heliophysics, they're still just in the beginning of time when you think of it, understanding the sun. I think there's, it's pretty complex space. I think we can come to that conclusion that we all agree that space is very complex. It's not easy to talk about space because we use coordinates and the facts that scientists and NASA give us. So there's a lot of awake people here. So when we talk about the numbers and how uh, far the distances of everything, a lot of people don't, you know, they're like, well, maybe they're wrong. Yes, absolutely. Science is a theory. So they have achieved a fusion. They did some experimentation uh, with a holographic image online or something they, they created. They opened up also a wormhole. So now we are really on the brinks of the very edge of for the first time in science where quite simply they have more power to even more dangerous techniques and ideas and you can be sure patents because they're patenting everything there's a patent way back in the 40s or 50s from the united states government to patent the um weather manipulation inside of the ionosphere with uh, different chemicals and there's a process there's a recipe for all of this it's been around for ages online but people are just not looking online at it for those of you my my subscribers my uh, fans and and freaks about the sun if you're like me every time you go up on that sun it tells you something different a lot of people look at these spots and say well wasn't that the spot you showed yesterday or the day before no it wasn't thanks for subscribing everyone Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Yeah. <laughs>